Maureen Johnson on Thursday and it was really really exciting as you can tell. Um, well to start off I'm going to talk about the musical that we went to. Um, I had no knowledge of this musical before going. I just went because like Maureen said it was good and it was revival and it would only be one day. So I th thought you know why not? Might as well. Um, it's called Gutted the, Re the Revengers Musical and it was so good. Like it was set up like a radio show like they didn't wasn't any set and the, uh, the orchestra was behind them and it was they just had the microphones and the scripts and stuff and it was just really really cool and, like the music is wonderful I loved the music it was so uh, think of a repo um, the dramatic opera darkness to it t with like the inappropriateness of reefer madness thrown in there there was a song about how the guy was happy that he found a son and he wasn't infertile and yeah um except a lot more yeah it was it was very very funny and not very appropriate really and it was very dark humor like it is definitely like a comedy but like very very dark like one part, she is killing off his members. Okay, well, I should tell you the synopsis first. Um, the play centers around a girl named Sorrow, who, at age of seven, had her parents killed by this guy. And so she swore revenge to marry him and then kill his whole family. So 15 years later, so that means she'd be like 22, around there, um, she marries him and is starting to kill off his family like relatives because he doesn't have a son we'll get to that later and so all of these deaths are happening and they're just like oh you know he just suffocated he just ate too much whatever and then there's one time when they're out in the garden and she kills one of his family members with a garden spike except like you know there's no way to you know say that's an accident except like there's a part where, like, she, like, talks to her conscious, so, you know, the three men of varying heights, pretty much my favorite part, and they're just like, well, just, just tell them that they, that she slipped on some butter, and she's like, well, no one will believe that, just tell them butter, just tell them butter, butter, it's like, well, and so, like, uh, one of the servants comes in, and like, oh, no, what happened to so-and-so, and she's just like, uh, she slipped in some butter. Oh no, so awful. They believed him, and then someone else came through saying, like, I saw what you did to her, blah, 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 and I shall, shall get you in jail, and I will receive all the money that he, you know, the husband murderer is going to offer. And she's just like, I'm so mad, so she takes a chainsaw, and she pretty much, like, decapitates her all around and then um one of the gardeners comes comes through and he's just like oh that stone looks very remarkable like mrs anti so and so and so i was just like um and they're just like oh my goodness another death this has been like the fifth one i believe or maybe the sixth there's seven all together counting the man who killed her father and then there's a twist because she falls in love with the gardener, but then the gardener says that he is the man's son, which is, yeah. And so she's just like, oh no, I have to kill him, but I love him. Should I stay on my course? And there's a part where her parents come and she has this like epiphany kind of type thing where she, they're just like, you know, follow your heart, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden they're like, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him till he's dead. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him till he's dead. And it's just like out of the blue, and they're just like avenge us. End of the story. Everybody dies, and you can either take that for what I say, or just assume that I'm just saying that because I say that for all movies who people have not watched.
During the interval, I was standing up, I was trying to look for Maureen, and she, I could not find her, but I had my pizza jar on shirt, so I could be easy to spot, and so, um, someone came up, and she's like, are you looking for Maureen Johnson? I'm just like, yes, do you know where she is? And he's, he's like, well, she's over there, um, she was going off to the corner so she could be, like, out of the way, and so we could talk to her, and I'm just like, well, Sarah went to the bathroom, so I can't, so maybe, um, so I grabbed a Sarah's purse, and I booked it over there, I probably banged a few shins, but I was gonna go talk to Maureen. So we talked to her, and then it started over again, and then afterwards, we met up with her again, and I got her to sign, sign looking for Alaska, and it's just so much, I love, I love it so much. Let me find the page, here we go. So here's what it looks like, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it, John Green is all crossed out, it's like, whatever, Maureen Johnson is better love it so much. I am really glad that I got to be in London and have this chance. Like, this might be the best thing ever because London, yeah, I'm really warming up to London now. Tonight we are celebrating my birthday by going to Friday's because we found one and I really want some wings. Really want some wings. And then we're probably gonna go like chill at a pub or something. So on the way back from the play last night, we had a whole train cab to ourselves. So what do you expect me to do? I danced. And one guy was really just going on about pole dancing. You know who it is. And it was really making me mad because there was a difference between dancing and pole dancing. And I'm not a pole dancer. I'm not really even a dancer. But, you know, happy dancing is fun and should be shared. I will leave you with this clip, and I will see you tomorrow. Go, Mary. Go. Go. Don't unplug me. Oh, just shut me down. Please just love me. With your steel heart, I'd reboot you. If you look at me with your cold eyes one more time. <laughs>